Virgo, welcome to your general love reading. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This is for any Virgo placement that is important to you. Personal reading information is linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. The reading is aimed for late January, early February, but you know, time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading is usually when it's meant to be heard. If you haven't heard already, my leg is broken. I broke my leg a week ago. So for those of you that are waiting for readings, have pur purchased readings, please be patient with me. I do ask. I am working my best to sort of adapt and adjust and um, find a comfortable way to get things done still. So this is going to be our setup, live from the bedroom, right? Until things, uh, until the healing process is complete or, you know, just taking things day by day. So for Virgo, romance, love, energies, whoever's on their mind, what do they need to know? What do we have for Virgo, please? Romance and love, energies coming towards Virgo, whoever's on their mind, what do they need to know? First card out is temperance energy. Excuse me, Sagittarius energy could be important. This is major arcana for Sagittarius energy. So there's some sort of divine time and patience that has been needed here. Some sort of balancing. Three of Pentacles is your second card out. What else do we have for Virgo? Love, romance, energies coming towards them, surrounding them. What do they need to know? Whoever's on their mind. What are their messages for Virgo? So something's going to work out. Off the bat, I'm getting that there's something that you have been working towards, wanting, waiting for maybe. And there's an element of divine timing or alchemy or things being lined up perfectly in order for this to happen. Because Three of Pentacles is also a card of alignment. Mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. Something you have been desiring, something that you find ideal, something that you um, have been wishing for is getting ready to align here. What else do we have for Virgo? Aquarius season. We are currently in Aquarius season, so that could be a timing point for some of you. We have the strength card here, Leo energy, major arcana. So you have three out of four major arcanas already. This is huge. The eight of swords and the king of cups, water sign energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be important. Yeah, but there's been someone that you have been wanting to sort of, you know, try things with, be with. Or if this is no one in particular, this could just be someone that you, uh, your ideal person, however that looks for you, because we all have a different view of ideal, right? For someone, it might be someone with purple hair. For someone, it might be someone with a dog. We all have our, our own ideals. So whatever that looks like for you personally, definitely could be finding someone that matches that, that aligns with that heavy alignment energy here. Could be a water sign, could be an Aquarius leo or a sag bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords so it's happening now this is happening now in aquarius season ace of swords is a now card it also speaks of clarity it speaks of truth it speaks of victory overcoming and we also have the fool card here another major arcana it speaks to a new beginning here something that is worth uh that you might that it's gonna be drawn you're gonna be drawn to it that's what i'm trying to say new beginning here new journey new path Head over heels energy too. Maybe after a period of illusion, out of confusion, out of dating. Some of you have been dating to no prevail. Probably sucks. Most dating scenes suck. <laughs> but, um, or you're narrowing it down. If you have been dating, you're finding someone that, you know, aligns with you. Past position here, we have two major arcanas. Temperance and the strength card, Leo and Sagittarius energy. So hot fire energy here, not hot. Lots of fire energy could have that in your chart, be dealing with a fire sign. But there's absolutely something that um, has really required your patience, your strength. It's really, it's sort of like a real big test here with these two both being major arcanas as well. This is speaking to, you know, you have, you have done the work. You have done the work and the work, trust me, there has been work to be done. You know, you've definitely earned whatever this alignment is for you. Whoever is coming to your life. You've earned this type of energy. You've done a lot of work recalibrating your energy, overcoming your own demons, facing your own battles, these type of things. Maybe tempering yourself, having the strength to heal, having the strength to wait, having the courage to know that things are happening even if you can't see them. 
because this is also alchemy energy. This is divinely guided energy. This is divine intervention energy. This could also be you balancing yourself, taking that time, doing the hard work of bringing yourself into balance. In your present position is the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles is also alignment energy. It could also be some sort of cooperation that is happening here. But with the Eight of Swords, this is like uh, that victim mentality. She's, she's wrapped in toilet paper, sort of waiting for someone to come and release her from this toilet paper bondage situation she's got going on, right? And she can really breathe her way out of this situation. She takes too deep of a breath and those toilet paper bandages are popped. But she has to be able to see that, right? She has to be able to see that him or her does not matter. That's just a chick in there. So I'm just saying she. So this could be where the work had to be done around some sort of victim mentality, right? Giving people your power, giving situations your power, always looking outside of yourself for answers, not wanting to see yourself, which is very much that strength card energy that is seeing yourself, that is facing yourselves, the good, bad, and the ugly. So that could be where the work has been done around. This is not your energy. This is someone you're connected to energetically that has been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. That could be why this timing is getting ready to happen now. Someone is ready to work on things and cooperate here with the Three of Pentacles. In your future energies, the Star card and the King of Cups. Yeah, there is someone with feelings here, emotions here, and it's time that this comes into alignment. You are someone's ideal. Someone is going to be your ideal. This will be the ideal partnership for you and there will be emotions. King of Pentacles, masculine energy. Someone that not necessarily can speak emotions all too good, but they're good at showing it. They're really usually good at showing it. Their, their actions tell you they love you. And it does look like there's going to be a, an expression of that, especially with the Ace of Swords. I am getting this King of Swords has something to say. Someone could also be releasing themselves finally of this sort of energy because that sword is also perfect to release that toilet paper bonded situation, right? Someone's got to tell the truth. Someone's ready to speak the truth. There's some sort of um, ideal that they want to move towards. Some sort of wish they want to get going. Didn't know how to do it before, maybe. Didn't know how to go about it before, but heavy on the manifestation. Someone is manifesting this. You have been manifesting this person if it's a new person. For some of you, just needed to get out of your own way. For some of you, you already have some sort of familiarity with this person. Someone that you maybe have a, a telepathic connection with, psychic connection with, Pisces energy here. I do think this is you. There is a knowing that you have had. The letter B and J could be important. High Priestess knows a lot, but says very little. I also see the Nine of Pentacles here. Someone that is absolutely a catch. And I also see the Nine of Cups. So two cards of wish fulfillment here with the Star card and the Nine of, and, and the nine of Cups. Yeah, dreams, wishes, manifestations, they're all coming in. They're all aligning. You could be having dreams about this with this High Priestess energy. What is the guidance? For Virgo. So Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic connection here. Yeah. So there will be no denying this. When you come into contact with this, whether you have already come into contact or will be soon, there's no denying this sort of pull that you and someone will have to each other. What do we have for Virgo? For some of you that know this person, uh, you know, they've done the work. They've definitely done the work. There might have been some sort of toxicity or low vibe shit going on before. I did get that vibe. I saw the, um, the devil card underneath there, but it looks like that is what they've been um, working on. Working on in order to come back around with the three of pentacles. If this is someone new... It's going to be very clear that this person is for you. You're going to want to jump on this. The, the way you feel is going to tell you. 
we have here. You've come too far. Keep betting on yourself. So absolutely some sort of um, thought pattern healing here that probably has had to happen, needs to happen. Whoever's in that Eight of Swords, they're realizing that they can't just stay there. They got to make moves. No one's going to do it. No one's going to come save them. They got to save themselves. Okay? So if this is if this is a King of Cups energy that wants to speak something to you, if they've been waiting for you to come around, I don't think so, though. I think they've literally been going through some things spiritually. They've been distracted. What do we have for Virgo? But I think you kind of kind of been dreaming of this person or had some sort of inkling intuitively that this was not done or that the person someone was coming into your life new or old that flipped out a personal issue reaches a resolution it's for whoever this king of cups is whoever was in this eight of swords energy playing the victim allowing their mind to dis disillusion them because i also see that there with the seven of cups Talking shit to themselves doesn't help. Okay, Virgo, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, I will see you guys next week.